I think I've got it. You've got it? I feel like I've... Right, you ready? I'll put the catch in in three, two, four now. Aha! <laughs> that's why it weighs 600 kilograms. Because that is literally like paper mache. Hello. Today, we are driving probably Marmite as a car. Yeah, more or less. It is an icon in the same way that the Beetle is for Germany. For France, we have Le Tout CV. Yes. Uh, adorned here in bright yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fitting personality. Um, once again, this is an episode with the motor shed, so this car's for sale, and we're just going to be uh, learning bits and bobs about it. Because it has some quirks in which we've never seen before. Yes, and it's got a mega little history, so this Look. is the 2CV. Let's begin. Have a look in here. It is m basic motoring at its most basic. I mean, to the point where it only has a singular spoke on the wheel because two was maybe too many. There. Is there a catch? Mm -hmm. There's got to be a catch. Did you have to employ another person to help you open your 2CV bonnet? I think I've got it. You've got it. I feel like a... Right, you ready? I'll put the catch in in three, two, four now. Aha! <laughs> That's why it weighs 600 kilograms. Because that is literally like paper mache. But yeah, there's your, there's your, that's why it's so fast. This is why the, the reason as to why this broke the 060 time of 19 <laughs> is because of this little honey. Yeah. Anyway, that's what it looks like. So carefully. There we go. Let's set some GoPros up and take it for a drive. Mm -hmm. So, unlike many of the cars that we've been driving, obviously we still need to find that out when the uh, seatbelt law came in place, but this does actually have them. Not that you'll be driving fast enough to ever need them. <laughs> <laughs> and not that you'll ever have a crash in which you'll survive, because <laughs> the car is indeed made of paper. Yeah, so, so it was actually nicknamed the Tin Snail, this car. Which I think is unfair. He's off. There we go. So it's a dog leg first, so first in this, and this is the, uh, this is the um, gear selector, so it's not down there, it's down here. And it works exactly the same way, it's just shifted over that way. So we will be putting clutch down, over, first. Handbrake off, handbrake off, now the handbrake off. And it just begins. And it moves. And there it goes. So there we are. Okay. Wow. There you go, the 2CV. Actually very easy. So, should we do some history? Yes, please, give me some history. So, I have the book of knowledge that we do. We do our homework now at Through Blind Mice. <laughs> Instead of just turning up and going, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, there was once a chap called Pierre Jules Boulanger. Yes. And remember Pierre because he's he's our friend. He's gonna he's gonna be mentioned a few times here. So rumor had it that once upon a time Pierre got stuck behind a farmer on his way home. Oh, did he now? He did. And he thought, hmm, you know what? Instead of getting annoyed at the person he, who was getting him stuck in traffic, he thought, you know what? I will. Um, I will, I will make a car that farmers can drive. But the sort of, I guess what he meant by that was that the every man can drive. Yeah, right? I have similar conversations with myself on the way home. Hmm, I must alleviate this problem by designing a car. Yeah. Speaking of which, listen to those indicators. It's like someone with a castanet. <laughs> <laughs> and so in, 90, in the early 30s, as we said before, he went to his design team and they came up with the very early prototypes of this car. Um, and he said it must be easy to use, it must do 95 miles to the British Imperial Gallon, or therefore the equivalent of. Yeah. And in 1934, Citroen actually went bankrupt and Michelin bought Citroen. 
Uh, and so Mr. Michelin, and he literally was called Mr. Michelin, yeah. became the president of Citroen until 1937 when Mr. Michelin sadly died. Oh dear. I uh, know. Anyway, so after that had happened, 47 prototypes of the 2CV had already been built. And obviously in 1939, they were planning on launching the car at the October Paris Motor Show. But obviously in September of 1939, the war began. Yes, that. Yes, and that got in the way. So eventually the car wasn't actually shown to the public until 1949, which is obviously 10 years after it was sort of ready to go on show. During the war, he was seen as a enemy of the Third Reich, so he hid all of them. He hid the prototypes, buried some of them, and destroyed others just so he could hide the design from the Nazis. And yeah, that's pretty much the the birth of the of the Citroen 2CV. And it was in production for 42 years. And now obviously there were changes between different engines. It had three door, five door things upgraded but in reality the car looked nigh on identical for that entire period and I'm actually really starting to enjoy this <laughs> this gear stick it's once you get used to it it actually makes so much sense and second to third is so satisfying when I got in it was like what on earth however something funny something amusing <laughs> when I got in it the gearbox was fairly unintuitive and I now albeit because it's a car that only drives as quickly as this does this is a really intuitive thing to use it's this action look at it second to third is amazing and then when you downshift bit of a blip that's just brilliant like and you don't need to go really I'll let him go through in real driving you won't have to do any more than second and first first is for pulling away and then the rest is all <laughs> It really doesn't drive as bad as I was imagining it was going to. No. I, I thought it was going to drive like a piece of merit. <laughs> <laughs> One thing this car does have is a, much like the Austin 7 Pearl, it has a retractable roof. So now, should we demonstrate how that works? Yes, we should. I just want to mention before we do that, how specific car briefs were back in the day. I read that with this, when they were designing it, it had to hit the criteria of a family of four with 50 kilograms luggage must be able to do 30 miles an hour. And that wasn't like a comfortable target. They wanted the car to be able to do 30, like yeah. physically do it, like get there as if that was the hardest thing possible to do, Yeah, which I think is ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to pull over uh, and show how to work this roof mechanism, I believe. Yes. Excellent. We'll see you there. So it's literally just a little button like that, like a little leather strap. Yeah, and then you unclip unclip these bits here. Oh, it's behind the mirror. So there's like two little... Yeah, yeah. So unclip off door. and then move that, bring that thing. Oh, my berry. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then just... um. And then... Hello. Yeah, you've got, I think it's the same thing here. Uh, oh, yeah, aha! Pull that, put it up. It just came off. Right? Oh, I see. And then that goes back into place. Oh, and it rolls back. Ah, oh, right. And then there's two more buttons. Oh, it's like a little clip thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it. I'll get mine. And then something like that, presumably. It's a delicious little car, and I didn't think I'd like it. So, to quickly wrap up with the Citroen 2CV, you have to bear in mind when this was brought out, it was brought out for people who've never had a car before. And having driven it today, that is exactly the vibe I get. It's just simple enough for everyone to understand. Nothing's too difficult. The clutch isn't weird. The gearbox wasn't weird. It all just fit. It was a very nice way for people to get into their first car. But it'd be perfect. If you lived in France, five minutes away from your local shop, you just pop down and buy your red wine, your baguette, your, the things that you need. It's like, a, it's like that. It's perfect for that sort of application. And I don't know why you'd have one for anything else, really, other than a sunny day and things like this. No, so that's probably a good place to wrap it up. Mm. Um, this car is for sale, once again, with the motor shed. Thank you to Mark for letting us poofle around in it for the afternoon. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, and if you are in the market for a yellow Citroen 2CV with sentient headlights, <laughs> you know where to come. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Au revoir.